Hi, welcome back to new Road Back to India episode. So sorry I didn't post last week because I just suck. There were too many parties, there were too many travels and yeah, I I just didn't make time to record a video. I hope you can forgive me. And this week we are going to continue the visa application process because last time we filled in the form. Today I'm going to try to make an appointment for the actual visa application. You have to make an appointment for that. I already recorded this video once and totally miserably failed to make that appointment. It was just not clear and I could not click on the forms and stuff like that. So let's see if I can make it work this time. And I promise, promise I will post this video regardless because this is just reality. Like sometimes you just feel and then you have to call organizations and yada, yada, yada. So let's just do this. Uh, let me see. By the way, this camera is so freaking annoying. It just goes out of focus all the time. So Please bear with me. I can't I can't lock it, you know, on to focus on me. It's just out of focus. I hope it will work better this time. I think it's BS India or something. BS India. No, it's like BSA. You know what? Visa India. Google is your friend. Mm, BLS, that's the thing. Appointment. There you go. Appointment booking. Will it blend this time? Appointment booking form. S location Amsterdam. Service type Indian visa. Appointment date, please. Select. A See, this happened last time too. Like, I can't select any dates. I don't know why. Why? Why? Show slots. <laughs> so this time. Ooh, you see, they're already booked until June. Okay. Oh, you can't book any further ahead? Oh. Okay. I guess you can just book one month ahead. I fail again. Okay. Well, this is going to be a sucky video again. Let me see. June. No. I can't make the appointment. And that's the current situation. Maybe I should take this opportunity to talk a little bit about um, my beautiful unicorn view on India. Because I, I have been sometimes accused to be too positive about traveling solo in India and especially about being too positive uh, traveling a solo female like a solo female in India which might be true I don't know I'm just a very positive person I'm kind to everyone and I respect people which doesn't mean I'm a pushover I have my boundaries but I do know like one massive massive uh, thing you have to take into account is if you have blonde hair and blue eyes no matter if you're a girl or a guy you will get a lot more stares and a lot more attention than I did like I've heard many times I could pass for an Indian girl and I didn't get that much stares or get harassed or whatever everywhere where I was like even my train travel I um, I actually got protected by the men, like even in the Mumbai local train, which is like hella crowded, an old Muslim man like wanted to give up his seat for me, you know, to let me sit. And I was like, hell no, of course. But um, yeah, I got, well, I, I can't say I got treated like a princess, but I was treated really, really good. So I think... If you do have blonde hair and blue eyes, especially as a girl, take that into consideration that you're going to have a, a, a different perspective on India probably or different experiences in India than I did. One thing I can highly recommend you if you are a blonde girl with blue eyes or even if you are a blonde guy with blue eyes is to read Rachel's blog, hippieinheels.com. I will link her blog down below. She is very adventurous and also recommends like taking a ride in the Mumbai local train, even though a lot of people, you know, would say don't do it. She does recommend it because it's totally an experience and I totally agree with her. 
And I think she has maybe like a more realistic view for you. Not saying that my view is not realistic, but I like in terms of appearances, I just have it easier, you know? So that's one thing I really wanted to talk about. One other thing is, you know, in terms of safety, I, I always say like, don't do stupid-ish. And by stupid-ish, I mean like, not dressing appropriately it's just like some people get really upset when i say this and they're like i should be able to wear whatever i want no honey because you're a guest it's not your country so <laughs> i'm very very outspoken about that like if you get invited to you know the met gala you're not going to show up in your sweatpants right there's a dress code and the same goes for india like there's a dress code dress to the occasion and um, so, yeah, that that's like one of the stupid ish that I hear. And I'm like, no, don't do that. And also like, don't do anything like local women, women wouldn't do. Like you can wear makeup, you can wear jewelry, you can do your hair pretty. But like if they are not wearing, um, if they're not wearing shorts, don't wear shorts. Like adapt to the local life and you will have it a lot easier. If you're the rebel and think like I should be able to be myself no matter where I am and yada 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 well good luck with that and don't come back complaining to me that you didn't have a good time in India you know what let's do a Q&A next week put your questions all your questions about India down in the comments below I will also post this on Instagram and I will also post this on Facebook and let's just have a Q&A video and then, well, maybe not, not next week, because for next week I wanted to watch Lagan and discuss that one with you. And also I will be in Curacao, so probably not be able to upload. So the week after that. So you have two weeks to watch this video. Put your comment down in the description below. Your, your question can be about anything from what kind of earrings you should wear in India or if you should date Indian guys or, or you should if you should date Indian girls, if you're a guy, whatever you want. Put it down in the comments below and then I will make an India Q&A video. This is a really short non-video. I, uh, I still hope it was a little bit helpful. I'm not even going to ask you to put a thumbs up because I think it's a crappy video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I would like to say that. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel and don't know what this video is about, I'm, I am been to India before. You should watch my India vlogs if you haven't seen those yet. And um, I'm going back to India at the end of September probably. Uh, so if you want to travel with me or if you want to travel my journey with all these preparations, click that subscribe button because then I can also take you through my journey to India. Bye. I'll see you next time.